Recognize the member for Fredericton, York. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I want to take this opportunity to wish you and all members of the House and indeed all New Brunswickers a, a very Merry Christmas and all the best in 2007. And uh, my compliments uh, to the, uh, the Green Party leader, I would never have the courage to stand up and sing here in the House. So, uh, top marks. Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, as always, my, my apologies to the original author and uh, to you for the uh, few rules that I may break. Having said that, Mr. Speaker, "'Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house the flames of a riot grits were trying to douse. Seniors and children were starting to say, when next Gallant travels he should stay away. Victor Boudreaux was nestled all snug in his bed, while visions of Senate seats danced in his head. <laughs> Each day Dominic's asked, but never he budges, not till Vic votes for the placement of judges. <laughs> Our potash production to a short-term end came, while Brian Gallant had his toe on a plane. He departed for Davos to go skiing with friends. Tis but one reason his premiership ends. Crownland was buried in new fallen snow, and the moon cast a luster to Harvey's below. When what to my wandering eyes should I spy but father and son with a load of bird's eye? <laughs> An experienced driver, such a capable man, I knew in a moment was the man from Quispam. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Alan, now Stuart, and Brian McDee, on Dubé, on Norton, and Madame Barley. Grits desperately longed for turbulent weather, but were harnessed and ready and pulling together. Roussel is the man who made all the fuss when learning our children were sharing a bus. 100,000 paid to lawyers with checks, and now the decision rests with the decks. <laughs> stating, <laughs> stating that HST increases were lazy, Rogers now finds her memory hazy. <laughs> the assets of seniors, her budget salvation, she chases each penny like Cruella Dalmatians. <laughs> 40,000 in NB, their job hunt ne'er ceases, yet Kuhn and Gallant talk taxation increases. Be careful, my friends, lest your food may cost more, and the employers we have may exit the door. At times of election, liberals plot and they scam, yet not one word changed in the forestry plan. They did not want Oxford, Don La Peninsule. Flash fo forward one year and they think that it's cool. The change to immersion proposed by Kenny is not properly staffed as they move from grade three. Their hope for this step, electoral salvation, the grits picked grade one without evaluation. A 50-year deal, Enbridge can boast. Soon thousands of users will be starting to roast. The people of NB Gallant will exploit. Our dear tennis pro seems directed by Hoyt. <laughs> The Atcon bunch shone brighter than stars. All that taxpayer funding and no jail bars. They keep dodging the bullet and think that it's funny, as long as the AG does not get her money. But people remember the debates they cut short, the rules that they changed, the closure of courts, the jobs that were promised but not brought to fruition, due in large part to faulty addition. Blaine is more than a leader. He's what our province needs. He'll get us on track and out of the weeds. For the province's children, if not for ourselves, let's get behind Higgs and work harder than elves. Blaine sprang to his feet, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, let's do what's right. <laughs>